Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 61. And um, I'm here in the Astro Clock Tower. And we want to do a specific dialogue right now once we get into the fishing hamlet right here. Um, and then we're going to go back and get Lady Maria's clothes and get some more information about her. First. You can see blood cup of blood and a photograph that we can't make out and then we go to the lumen flowers over at the clock tower and look at that carol sign then we have to hold up the celestial dial right here and beyond here is where the nightmare's secret is. And we're gonna find out what happened. Now we go through. This is Chingham. You can die here, but it's interesting. If you look through down here, it looks like we're actually in the sky and we're above old Yarnum. Because that's what it looks like over here. I don't want to fall off right here, but it looks like Yarnum. Or old Yarnum's right here and we're above it. Let's get the goodies. Blood elixir. I'm gonna meet an NPC up over here. Bandman's not. Hear what he has to say about Burton. Blood crazed fiends. Torment for the wretches. By the wrath of Mother Goss. Mercy for the poor wizard child. Mercy. Oh, please. Atonement for the wretches. May the curse of blood upon them. And their children. That's the curse. And their children's children forevermore. Each wretched birth will plunge each child into a lifetime of misery. So we're getting from him what happened. Look at the way he looks. Mercy. For the poor wizened child, let the pungence of cause cling like a mother's devotion. Bergenworth came in here and wiped this village out, and they killed Kaz. We're gonna get more confirmation. So this is the fishing hamlet, but we're gonna light this lantern. We're gonna go back to the hunter's dream. Hopefully we can get some dialogue from the maiden, the doll. Um, because she looks a lot like Maria, doesn't she? So let's talk to her. Gammon awaits you. Go. Good hunter. Your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Good hunter. I s I don't know if that's the dialogue we get from her, but let's get Maria's clothing and learn more about her. Among the first hunters, all students of Gearman were Lady Hunter Maria. This was her hunter's cap, crafted in Canehurst. Maria is distantly related to the undead queen, but had great admiration for Garman, unaware of his curious mania. So she was a student under Garman, and that's why the doll looks like her. Because Garman shaped her. She's also, um... Related to Canehurst, the Queen of the Vile Bloods. And we'll get all of her equipment there. Now let's.
let's go back. Ah, and then we want to do one more thing. We want to equip the, the rune that we got from Aline. Milkweed rune. Because it'll transform us into a being. Now we can get more dialogue and an item from that NPC. Ah, oh, man, this area. It's the last area of the game, or of the DLC. And, uh, it is tough. And I will do a story recap for the DLC once we figure out what's going on here. So let's go back and talk to him. Curse here, curse there, a curse for he and she. Why care? Bottomless curse, bottomless sea, source of all greatness, all things that be. Listen for the baneful chants. Weep with them as one in trance. And weep with us. Oh, weep with us. Oh. And we get the accursed brew from him. Listen for the binnacle. Fix your ears to hear our calls. And get that first part. Listen for the bane. They call to, they the, call to the bloodless, wherever, wherever they be. They fix. A skull from the local violated fishing village. The inside of the skull was forcibly searched for eyes, evidenced by innumerable scratches and indentations. No wonder the skull became stewed with curses. They who offer baneful chants weep with them in trance. And you need 30 arcane to use it, and we have 30 arcane, so put it on. Let's go to this area, actually. Um, I actually want to... Equip... Some throwing knives. I don't think I have any Molotovs, unfortunately. Oh, I do. Okay, great. And I have some delayed Molotovs. Okay. So now we're going to have to take this area a little carefully, so. You can hit that guy through the wall right here, which will make your life a little easier. And this is just... Um, ambush central. Just warm back here.
now we gotta be careful because... There is a... I, I wanna hit that mage guy. I think I got him. Certain mages, um... Yeah, I got him. Um... Blood vial. Yep, pl plenty of blood vials. So those guys will die in one hit. Um... I thought there was a side entrance here. Yes. And it must have Okay. Up here. This area is just all ambushes. So we want to take this nice and slow because... Lure him over here. There, we don't want to deal with that. This guy hits hard. Oh, I'm dead.
clear this mostly this whole area. That guy's throwing stuff. But wait till this guy comes over here. And then wait to pick up the items. And it can hurt him. Come back, come downstairs. <laughs> Just an oil urn. Get this. More blood vials, which is great. These guys are falling, which actually really helps us. I was gonna equip more Molotovs, which I will do. That's a trap and an ambush. Um. Yeah, there's nothing out here. This is not the ladder, right? No. Stairs. Odd fire day of blood gem. Meh. Meh. The blood gems here aren't as good as the ones that we picked up in the Chalice Dungeon. I'm gonna clear the area before we go down the well. This it's a freaking nightmare. Um, I want to get the ladder shortcut that is somewhere around here. Um, How to get to the dang roof. Here we go. 
and the Great One's wisdom. There's a shortcut ladder right there, right by the lantern, and we can... Alright, now we gotta get prepared for going downstairs. Or, down the well. Um, the Rokuya is down there, but you have to beat those two, uh, two giant fish monsters. Um, I'm going to equip a Shaman Bone Blade, hopefully I can... which is Lady Maria's weapon. It makes no sense why it's dropped down the well. It says that she dropped down the well, but it doesn't make sense because she just used it against us. But let's uh, read the description. Hunter weapon wielded by Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. Trick sword originated from the same country as the Canehurst Chicago, only to force... Feeds not off blood, but instead demands of dexterity. Lady Maria was fond of this aspect of the Rakuya as she frowned upon blood blades, despite distant relative to the queen. But one day she abandoned her beloved Rakuya, casting it into a dark well when she couldn't stomach the presence no longer. We'll be back down here and get those items later from the other side. And you hear the singing. We'll talk more about that later. Alright. So we finished the worst, uh, yeah, I would say this is the worst part of the area right here. Um, another ambush coming up here. Wow, he got me. Got me again. Always use the tree as well. Um, there's a mage bro. There. I want to stay here. I'll try to get him. This.
I was able to get him. There's gonna be another fish guy. Up there. Um, yep, right here. Bloodstone chunk. stuck over here again. How? He gave me four. Okay, we're done with that nightmare. Um, go in here. You can see that. We we'll get our lantern, and we see Simon. I've made a bunch of things. Oh, I can hear the bell now. The beast hide assassin. He's after me. Again. And again. It never ends. That's the guy in the cell <sighs> was talking about. He's after him. That's why he's ringing the bell. Please. I need you to do something. This village is the true secret. A testament to the old sins. It feeds this hunter's nightmare. Please. Bring to an end the horror. So our forefathers sin. We hunters cannot bear their weight forever. It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. <sighs> and he finally dies. We'll get his bow blade and underground inner chamber key. <laughs> so, this is going to be a shortcut later that's very important. I'm uh, going to continue on a teeny bit more. Uh, 
Um, actually, no. You know what? Because we're going to get invaded by Braidor. He gave us the underground sulky. Let's just read the descriptions and end the episode here, because it's getting a little long. But, uh, I love Simon's bow blade. It's a really cool weapon. Choice weapon of Simon. One of the first healing church hunters. Simon despised firearms, and so the church workshop had this specific, specially fashioned to his liking. The large curved blade serves as a bow when transformed, but aside from a few close friends, Simon was, Simon was scoffed at for his choice of arms, for who would dare face the beast with a measly bow. It's really cool. We'll do a weapon showcase for that. And then the, um, the key... Key to the inner chamber of the cell below the Grand Cathedral. The innermost chamber of the cell holds a lone madman who wears beast hide and rings a bell that emits no sound. Unending death awaits those who can bear the soundless bell. We'll encounter him soon. Um, I'm going to wrap the episode up here for today, and we're going to finish the episode, or we're going to finish the uh, fishing hamlet uh, in the next episode, and hopefully get to uh, Orphan of Kaz, which is the hardest boss fight, I think, in the game. Uh, it's going to be super fun, but um, I'm not going to go back and rest because I don't want to deal with all this area again, so hopefully I can make it through on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.